This is your transfer bonanza. Where we go to the vineyard of news and we pick all the speculation grapes, we have a look at them, and if they've got lies in them somewhere, we throw them out. You're not getting in our wine, mate. And then we get the good ones, we mash it up with our feet, we can feel it through our toes, we make beautiful wine, and then we just dish it out to people. Have some of that, mate. Yeah, we find out what's going on with transfer rumours over the last week and them. work out what's true, which is generally none of it. So let's start at the back, Ian. Patrice Everard. He has signed a one-year contract extension. I reckon he's got five years left in him. He is going to be a red for the rest of his life. If it's anything happens to him, I'm going to kill myself. It's amazing. At the time of record, Patrice Everett has indeed, he did sign that one-year extension, but he is also on the verge of a £2 million move to Juventus. We don't know why. It makes what? us sad. It's just signed a one-year contract decision, mate. You're talking nonsense. No, it's true. We're going to be discussing all of this and pointing many a finger in a special ever video, which at the time of record, it's Wednesday. We up late today. So if it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday or Tuesday, it's already online. So is this what all this lunacy about left-back replacements is? Yeah. Vermaelen? I thought he was a centre-back, mate. Well, he is, but he could probably play left-back. Because remember, we've got Luke Shaw, so it's not like a first choice left back it's just someone who can do a job because probably luke can't play every single game because butner let's get butner back it was man of the match 14 times uh no we can't get butner back he's gone now he's bruno's martin's in. he's a center back as well yeah bruno's martin indeed is also a center back again with him nothing's really going on we've heard no news on him back to the marlin he's actually come out now and said now that belgium are out the world cup that he hasn't made a decision on his future and that he isn't sure he will be at arsenal next year so it is quite possible he'll be on the move possible he became to Manchester United. Whether you think that's a good thing is it's down to you, but it is possible. That's not been ruled out. Also says here that Waz, uh, everyone's yep. favourite German newspaper named yep. after Euron, has linked Waz us Rooney. with Ricardo Rodriguez, yep. the 46 year old plumber from Grimsby. No, he's a 21 year old left back. Oh my God. Uh, so that would be a good signing, probably. He's 21, it seems feasible, but it's. It's not really, there's not a lot of noise being made about this one. We've just seen this one once and it might have just been they've gone, oh, they've got rid of Evra, they're going to need another left back. Who's about, I don't know, this fella? Yeah, stick him in. I just, I mean, it's just interchangeable, isn't it? They just write a name, add the story around it. So, Still no idea. Still a lot of uh, centre-backs that are being linked to. It's true. Miranda, is anything happening? Uh, Miranda has been teasing us all for a few months and it looks like he's now going to stay at Atleti Atletico Madrid. Not going to go to Chelsea, not going to go to United, not going to go to Barcelona even. That's what it looks like right now. Well, periscope. good news on the old Hummels front because we have an exclusive from the Daily Star, one of the most trusted newspapers in the mm. British Isles, and it says that United are stepping up their pursuit of Hummels. Ooh, stepping up. Stepping it up. That is serious. So yes. Previously, they're interested. Now they've called him up and said, oh, you know that Hummels? We like him. Mm. They've stepped, we've stepped it, up. it up. Maybe they've started watching videos of him on YouTube or something. I don't know. Basically, nothing really is going with Hummels other than where every paper you can find is writing about it. Uh, the Metro went as far as to write one article that said, this is dead in the water, it's not happening, and then wrote another one that said, United, still keen on Hummels, he's their main man. So it's just, I mean, it's a nonsense. No consistency. Nope, none. Vidal, should we move forward into midfield? Yeah, Go finally on. some good news. Vidal, the biggest signing of the summer. He is going to light up our midfield. He's here. <laughs> he's mean. He's, his name's Vidal. We've... Yeah, we haven't signed him. And just like Hummel's papers are going as far as saying, Juve say no, and then going, oh, Juve are keen on this one because they want the cash. Nobody knows what's going on. Um, one, one outlet said that it could depend on whether Pogba goes to Paris Saint-Germain. I don't know why that would be relevant, but here we go. So, we want him, don't yeah. we? We all want him. But, have we inquired? We don't know. There are reports that United have men in Turin trying to find things out. No one's bothered to take a picture to show us these men, so we've no idea if they're really there. And, this is what I'm thinking, Evra. If he's gonna go to Juve, we've clearly spoken to Juve. So you'd think during that conversation, someone would have just gone, like Edward was just gone. Yeah, so you can have Patrice, that's fine. Just quickly, before you go, um, can we have it down? Just as simple as that. That's how we got Cantona, just ask a question. Just go, can we have him? And they went, yeah, a million pounds. And we signed him. But now, just go, can we have him? Stop, stop all this. Oh, do you think we should ask him? Just ask him, then you know where you are. It's like a 10 year old at a date asking a girl to dance. They're just a bit scared of rejection. We've been linked to a few more midfielders who we probably won't get. Di Maria? Uh, yeah, allegedly, Di Maria has a choice between going to the historic, traditional, beautiful 
wonderful football club that is Manchester United or to the well-married Paris Saint-Germain. So where he chooses to go, I have no idea. Depends if he wants beautiful football or, or if he wants money, Champions League and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And not Three terrible so we things don't know. Like any yeah, of them. Could, could go to either club. Uh, it seems likely that he'll move though because uh, James Rodriguez for, of Colombia World Cup fame. Uh, it looks like he's going to Real Madrid. We should sign him. Yeah, we I should. Think, right? But he doesn't want to come here. By his own admission, couldn't do it on a cold Tuesday night in Stoke. Uh, Says the Premier League. Put a jumper on! Too physical for him. It's not necessarily the cold, it's just he's not really, he doesn't fancy it in England. He wants to go to the warmer climates of Spain. Someone who Good is thing. used to the cold, Memphis Depay. It's very quite cold. P PSV? At winter, certainly. But big development from that front. Yeah. Uh, PSV have come out and publicly said, we haven't heard anything. Yeah. Which, no one's got in touch. Yeah. So that's that. Yeah, do you know what I think that means? Yeah. That means they look at the papers and go, oh, look what it says here. United after the pay, Barcelona after the pay, 30 million pounds. Well, I haven't heard anything. Have you heard anything? No. I haven't heard anything. Well, hey, you know all this? We haven't, no one's actually told us about this. We haven't heard anything about this 30 million pounds. It's not like they've gone, we haven't heard anything. He's our player, and this is disrespectful, frankly. They are keen mate. on a sale, in my mind. Someone I'm keen on a sale of, Fellaini. Fellaini has lit up the World Cup, mate. As you know, he scored one goal. He's chested it a few times. He's got some yellow cards, I imagine. But he has come out saying, I don't know where I'll be after World Cup, honestly. I'll just see after World Cup. Well, World Cup's over, mate, so you need to step up, step on the train out of Manchester. I think he's been treated quite harshly at Man United. He has been injured and he was a good player. We never really should have bought him, but we have done. It's not, it's not really his fault. Uh, but Van Gaal could make him a good player. He's done that before. Look at Dirk Cow. He was useless, but has been very useful at this World Cup. Uh, also, there was lots of talk that Van Gaal was told everyone would get rid of Fellaini. Apparently, that's nonsense. Do you think uh, Van Gaal could also transform the fortunes of Nanny? No. Who has been inconsistent no. at best? No, never. Not in a million years. Offload him. Yeah. Uh, Inter Milan and Juventus both allegedly interested. Don't know if that's true, but if Juventus are, can't we give them him and Evra? And then yeah, we two players for the price of one. Come on, okay. you'd be stupid not to. Yeah, uh, other interesting news. Conor Pajenka. Yeah. Remember him on previous transfer bananas? Uh, so he has been subjected to a bid from West Ham of all teams. <laughs> no West Ham, mate. No disrespect to West Ham there for me. No, no, no disrespect. I mean, Good yes. one. Okay. If he's good enough for West Ham, he's not good enough for us. And the big news, I didn't tell you about this one because I wanted to surprise you. Okay. A lot of the big boys missed this one, but not the Exeter Express and Echo. Ooh. Always has its finger on the pulse. We could mm. be, apparently, see what you think of this. Go on. Signing Ooh. Valdez. Victor? Yeah. Why? Victor Valdez, competition to De Gea, apparently. Never going to happen, is it? Good luck, the Exeter Express and Echo, but that's obviously nonsense. And that is a good way to wrap up this transfer bonanza. Because it's all nonsense really, isn't it?